Okay, so we will start our unit. Unit name is Raising Capital, Corporate Restructuring and International Finance. There are three different topics in this, uh, in this unit. First is Raising Capital, that is how the generally listed companies raise money from the market. Then Corporate Restructuring because of the recession generally uh, the, uh, we have a great recession in the early 90s. The US companies and the European companies, they were forced to cut down their expenses and they have to shrink themselves, either it's a merger, acquisition, acquiring, takeover, subsidiary. This is what we will discuss today in our discussion. And in the last portion, we have to discuss the international finance that once you are, you are based in US and you are dealing with Australia, you are dealing with UK, how, what are the options for you for the, as a financing arrangements? Broadly, the topic that we are going to discuss is financial markets and security uh, offerings. What, we, uh, what are the meanings for financial markets? What are the types of the markets and how the companies offer their shares, which is when you go to a stock exchange, you can buy and sell your uh, the uh, the popular or the, uh, the share available. How they are being uh, initiated for listing or offering to the stock exchange. This is the, the what is the backend procedure for that one, and what formalities they have to keep in mind before issuing for some uh, offerings to the public. Then we will discuss the dividend policy and share repurchase. Dividend is a word that we use as a return for having the share capital with you. When you invest in a company, you buy the shares, you become the shareholder. Then for your investment, surely you need some rewards. So company will announce dividends. This dividend is a return on your investment that you did in this company and you bought the share. So the dividend could be uh, in term, it could be a final. And what are the types of the dividends and how we can pay dividends. Generally dividend should be out of the profit. It should not be out of the owner's money. Because dividend is very important thing. If you announce dividend, Surely, people will attract more towards the company because this company is announcing returns on investments. So you will be very popular, people will start investing in your company, it will boost up your image and reputation. So that's why SEC, that is Security Exchange and uh, Commission, uh, always take care of the dividend policies of the big listed companies that uh, they are genuinely operating is this dividend is a genuine dividend is it not out of uh, the capital or it is uh, is it's a symptom to the market just to show the growth uh, signals it's real or it's artificial then sometimes company repurchase their shares uh, what are the conditions what are the implications for buying your own shares and uh, how it will change the current ownership, this we will discuss. Merger and acquisition. In the recessions, when the cost is high and revenue is less, so surely there is no way out just to cut down the expenses or either the close the business. And the third option is to merge with someone. Sometimes if you're a small company and you merge with a big company, so your entity may be lost, and, but you will survive yourself by a merger or acquisition. Sometimes big companies acquire a small unit or some other units. So uh, how, the, what is the technical terms in terms of merger, acquisition, holding, parent, subsidiary? This is we have to discuss uh, today. Then we have to discuss the bankruptcy. How a listed company, one day you heard in the newspaper that this is now bankrupt. So what is the mechanism, what is bankruptcy itself, how to file the bankruptcy with the related authorities and what would be the procedure in that case. And foreign exchange is related to 
the currency exchange of or the rate exchange between two countries and uh, the, in economics we studied there are three sort of uh, exchange rate one is the gold exchange rate one is fixed exchange rate which is settled by us and certain rates are being given and one is a floating exchange rate that is based on the real demand and supply of the uh, currency or the, the money exchanges the, that is a floating rate that is more popular in the economy because it has more advantage in the last we will discuss the international trade that uh, how trade takes place between different uh, countries we will start about uh, financial market it facilitates the creation or and transfer of financial assets these markets creating a platform for investors buyers and sellers so the, the investment activity can take place for example financial market facilitates the creation and transfer of financial assets and obligations obligations are in accounting terms is liability so if you go to a bank for investing your money you are creating your asset and bank is creating its liability if you are going to the bank to take to take the loan so you are creating your liability and bank is creating your asset this is how the money that you lend someone I will take it. So it's a process of borrowing and lending, which facilitated by the financial markets. They bring together entities. They have fund to invest with the entities that have needing finances. So what generally, as a simple concept, what bank does is bank is a platform where you where, who links the lender and borrowers. and all financial market works on this mechanism only now the financial markets are not particular places it can be virtual as well but rather the totality of the supply and demand for the security securities include a very wide variety of instrument these instrument could be stock corporate bonds mortgages consumer loan leases commercial paper certificate of deposit and the government securities and derivatives we will discuss these all in details generally this we should know that securities could be anything it could be a stock shares we can say the uh, the securities then derivatives are there what are the derivatives what is future what is option call option put option this we will keep discussing in this unit so financial markets may be classified as either money market or the capital market or you can say you can divide the market into less than one year markets for investments borrowing and lending and more than that because capital is is a term that is we use in accounting for the long term uh, process that may be a long term asset or something so financial markets may be classified either as money market or as capital markets capital market is a market which you know about stock exchange and where you are buying and selling the stocks but in terms of money market this is these are the highly liquid market in fact the crisis that we saw last few years was because of these market in which liquidity was a issue hard effects we will discuss money market trade debt security with maturity of less than 1 year these are dealer driven markets because most transaction involve dealer who buy and sell instrument at their own risk now what are the example what are the products or the types of securities we uh, we can see in the security markets in the you can say the money market now money market include government treasury bills why this is us treasury bills generally these are considered more secured form of investment why because this is uh, anything which is backed by the government is considered ideally the most authentic and most least risky in a sense 
Then we have government treasury notes and bonds, federal agencies, short term texts, commercial papers, CD, certificate of deposit, deep purchase agreement, euro dollar CDs, certificate of deposit, and banker as acceptance. These, if you see the mechanism journey, they are for the short period of time, uh, providing some little room for the money to get for someone and someone can get the benefit out of it. Capital market trade long term days and equity securities. For example, the New York Stock Exchange is an example of the capital market or any other capital market of your countries or in UAE who is dealing with the stocks is called as capital market. They open every day and they close with an index and they close with another index. People buy shares, sell shares, do a trade activity, win or lose the capital. Financial markets may also be categorized as primary or secondary. What are the primary markets? Primary market are those markets in which the shares are listed at first. And secondary market are where already launch you, you do the buying and selling. Primary market is the market in which cooperation and governmental unit raise new capital. While in secondary market provide for the trading of previously issued securities. So whatever we do here, it is in the secondary market that already floated uh, the share capital. We are going to buy and sell and do some trading activities. So whenever you want to do some IPO, that is additional public offering, you have to do it in the primary market. Uh, for all other already floated uh, rates, we, we have to deal in the secondary market. 